still just regular institute. I mean, we're getting a bunch of fusions. Automatic institute pistol. There we go. All right, Kadi. I need to hey, trade with you, bud. You need, Mom? Yes, there is, actually. Can I trade with you? Uh, we'll give you one of my 10 millimeters. I'm keeping the automatic. Um, give you the regular. Um, give you most of this stuff, honestly. Um, you have a lot of guns in general on me that I just don't need. There you go. There's most of them. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the, use this automatic institute pistol. It's relatively low damage compared to you know, some other stuff, but it is an energy weapon. And that's what this character is all about. That's my legendary, by the way, messing with you there. Armor. Um, oh, I can actually upgrade this stuff potentially. I mean, it's actually pretty, let's upgrade the legendary that I have real quick. Uh, this improves, this just improves the damage and stuff I can take. I mean, it's not as good as like the stuff that you're on down the line, but based off what I have right now, Let's just go ahead and make this girl girdled leather or girded leather. I'm sorry. Take that. Wait, uh, miscellaneous. I can't put anything else on it. I don't seem to have the materials to do anything else or the know-how. Okay, cool. There we go. We are now slightly... Actually, we might be able to gear up some other stuff, but uh, that's already girded. This is just a regular right arm. Oh, we don't have enough stuff. Okay, cool. Well, either way, you know, we were able to uh, improve our legendary chest piece. So that's, that's a win. And we got a decent amount of ammo on this thing. Keep on going. On there, Paladin Dance. There's one thing I've learned. Since have compromised most of the facility. There's one thing I've learned. It's uh, when they when it seems like they're trying to rush you through a place, they actually heavily reward you for actually taking a second and looking around. Stop in smaller rooms. Look at the size of this weapon. I'm playing a 90 FOV, the by the way. Vigilant. See, I can open up the console. FOV space 90. We've got turrets ahead. I'm playing a 90 FOV. Just, just, the weapon itself is freaking giant. Hey, well, hold on here. We have a Tesla Science Magazine, which energy weapons permanently inflict 5% extra critical damage. Awesome. Very, very cool. There's also a terminal here. The CEO's terminal, which I want to check out. All right, you chill out there for a second, buddy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this. <laughs> All right, yeah, no pro Goodness. Mars Shot Project. All right, so what I've done here is there's actually a lot of reading to do here. So I've gone through and I've read through most of this. So... What's actually happened, this is actually Thomas Reinhardt, this is like the CEO of ArcJet. So, after six months, the United States Space Administration, which is the USSA that we learned about earlier, they have approved ArcJet as the contractor for the Mars Shot Project, uh, which is going to basically be putting together this XMP booster, which I'm not entirely sure what that is. I assume that's something to do with a space shuttle of some kind. Um, the second part right here is going to be that they actually end up hiring Dr. Rory McClellan uh, to work on it because apparently he was a very popular, a very good guy. He worked in the military on a contract job or something like that very big deal and as holiday season approaches it's time to take a step back and look at everything that's happened to arc jack systems uh five months ago the company was struggling just trying to make ends meet and now the with the booster and the deep range transmitter projects they're working on for the government they appear to be back on their feet which is pretty good if you go here he's, imp he's uh, informed them that there's actually a problem with the xmp booster the ussa is demanding that the engine uh, can't exceed their strict weight allowance, but thanks to the uranium refinement subsystem, we're a few hundred tons over. We're now one month behind schedule and frankly starting to panic. McClellan seems, uh, su assures me he'll find a solution soon. But that isn't helping me get to sleep at night. Then, wait, where were we at? Were we right here? All right, the team finally solved the weight problem. Now all they need to do is actually finish tightening some screws and stuff like that and get the thing actually ready to go. And as scheduled, there's a photo opportunity happening for the boosters first firing thing. The idea is they're going to have a bunch of people come in and take photos of it and stuff like that, which is going to be nice. We then learned there was actually an accident. There's been two weeks uh, since the accident before the XMB boosters uh, test firing event. Somehow a photographer managed to slip in early before everyone was supposed to be there. And they were running a couple of tests on it before people got in there and ended up burning the photographer to ash. Thank God no one saw what happened. I'm having Brent, who is the security guy we learned about earlier take care of the remains after all that's why i hired him if word of this accident goes public we'll be shut down and i may as well put a for sale sign out front and then we go down here all the unrest overseas is making the ussa nervous about proceeding with the mars shot project they're telling me we may have to delay a year or more depending on what happens if that's true we'll just have to make do with 
uh, the proceeds from the deep range transmitter contract and that we've already completed. I'm trying to keep everyone's spirits up around here, but it's getting harder and harder with the world falling apart around us. Hopefully our government will work things out and we can all get back to work. That's actually the last thing in the terminal. So uh, basically with the war looming and the nukes, you know, happen going to be happening soon. They basically stopped working on this thing to my understanding. This is that this is the um, thing that we're actually after that transmitter. So kind of gives you an idea of what's going on slightly. There's a lot of reading there. I tried to give you guys the TLDR. Hold on there, Paladin Dance. There may be some more stuff in here. There may be stuff. In fact, I'm almost sure of it. All right, that's just going to take us all the way around. But we have a repair department terminal. Hey, I can unlock things like this. Let's see here. What do we have here? <laughs> Idea. Likeness of zero. Okay, cool. All right. Sweet. All right, I just guessed sewn, and there we go. So there's a bunch of repair orders and turret control. Let's go ahead and, and uh, deactivate them there, turrets. How about that? Yeah? How about that? We also got repair orders in here and stuff with the con. There's lots of reading to be done in here, but I'm not going to mess around with it too much for right now, to be honest. I think we're going to be okay. Sad, this level of technology is like a lost art. I agree, Codsworth. I agree. What do we have here? Mentats, eh? Not bad. Not bad. So it's a bit of a shame. What actually? It seems like these guys were on the up and up. Seems like they were working on some space stuff for the uh, United States government, and they all kind this of uh, all had to pretty much lose domestic, their jobs I thanks to the uh, due to due to the war. And then, of course, the war actually happened. Rubbish. You know, nukes went off, and then I think these guys all pretty much just uh, lots of mentats all pretty much died. The place kind of fell into disrepair. That's what I'm seeing right now. Receptionist's terminal. Are you kidding me? There are so many terminals in here. What do we got? We got Faust. All right, likeness of two. Likeliness of two. Rays could be could be it. Only likeness of one. So it's either going to be the A or the S. Hmm. Let's look for some duds here. Not finding any. I mean, there might be some, but I'm not seeing any immediately. I'm not good at looking for these things. So maybe the A, let's go with talks. Uh, likeness of one, so it's definitely going to be uh, the A. Whatever we're looking for here has an A. It could be favor. Could it be favor? No, it couldn't be because there's an F there. It could not be favor. Can't be fixes. Can't be fossed. Uh, we already picked talks. Um, we already did raise. It could be... No, it can't be right. It has to have an A. Has Am I crazy? Have I gone crazy? Why does this not seem like it, it, it can even be done? So it, it, the right answer has A as its second letter, but does not begin with F. All right? Well, actually, it could be. Yeah. Okay, so it'd be, it's going to be F-A. We already had Faust, so probably Favor. Yes. Yeah, there we go. I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm an idiot. All right, so we got mail for the press. Thomas Reinhardt. I realize our announcement regarding the Marshall Project has caused quite a lot of excitement with the national media. If any members of the press are requesting statements or interviews, please direct them to our public relations department. Do not attempt to answer any questions, okay? Uh, floor safe. There's a floor safe. As requested, I've had a floor safe installed in the front office area. This should allow you to pay for any incoming deliveries or store valuables until they can be transferred to a more secure location. Let me know if you have any issues with the safe or locking mechanism in the front area, huh? Where? Where? There it is! Hey! Hey! This is why we, this is why we read stuff. This is why it's a scientist playthrough. I didn't read the stuff on the repairs. I mean, I don't think there's any real information in there for us. But I'm glad we decided to read the old That's receptionist it. terminal. Twelve dollars they kept in there, huh? Huh. <sighs> let's just grab it. Let's just grab. It. Let's keep. Let's continue on your pallet dance. You gotta be getting. Gotta be getting ready to go. Ahead. Should be our final stop. All right. Well, that should be my quick save then. All right, Arcjack Engine Core. This is what we're after. This is the thing that this is the thing they were working on, but they basically had to stop production on. So maybe it's not even completely ready. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. I bet you there's gonna be sense. <laughs> I can all but guarantee it. Look at this place. Scribes have a field day. Jeez. We're kidding.
I'm not seeing any sense. Lost their the cloak. The transmitter should be in the control room at the top of the core. But it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now and find a way to get the facility's power back online. All right. All right. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off of the main chamber. I'll remain here and watch our backs. Ah, uh, so I'm the one that has to go do the scouting, huh? So the elevators aren't working, just to verify. I can't... I can't open it. All right, cool. So I can't just smash this here glass and go through that way. That would save everybody a lot of time. I'm just saying. Save everyone a lot of time. But nope, here I am, leading the way against the synth army. All right, wouldn't have saved that much time. Power's out, can't turn on. Is that a junk jet? It is. Oh, God. Why, though? Engine start button. Hey. Hey, got ourselves a fusion core. Very excited about that. And here's going to be a terminal, which we can hack into. Easy peasy. Love. All right. It's not love. Went. It's not went either, huh? Huh. Ganged. There we go. See, you just guess and you'll eventually get it, right? Uh, the engine core is operating on emergency power to conserve energy. All non-critical systems and operations have been suspended. Power options. Start auxiliary generators. See, I'm like an uber hack sore. I'm like really good at this. Engine core power restored. And Thermal turrets. Engine fueled. It sounds like turrets going off. Let's open this up real quick. Come on. There we go. It's not messing around with this Got too it. long. Just open quick and be Prime. done, yeah? And standing by for your command. Oh, I can turn this on, which is gonna... Command accepted. Fire! Commencing Stand back. Countdown. Stand back, Fire. Paladin Dance. Stand back, Paladin Dance! I mean, heck, you probably, you, probably, you probably shouldn't be in that room, period, pal, the dance. Three. Am, I supposed to, am I supposed to yell at him through the thing? Two. Am, I, am I safe in here? I assume so. We're going to quick save One. just in case. Engine firing. I picture fire coming down from that, right? Ammo running off. Yep. Yep. Test firing completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. I mean, that's pretty high efficiency. Hey there. Hey. Bet you wish you wore your helmet. Huh? Oh my god. Are you all right? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Let me see your face. Oh, I wonder if I was going to change his face. I don't remember doing this in my first ever playthrough. Lots of fusion cells. I'm just going to take some... Oh, I can't, I can't take... I, I was hoping to take a bunch of these Institute pistols with me and then break them down for parts. Then again, I guess I still can. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stock up Codsworth, I think. Look at all you guys. I mean, I've grabbed all the fusion cell I can off of you guys, though. For real, that's gonna be great. I'm very happy we're about to get all this fusion cell ammo. Very cool. Yeah, this place is neat. All right, Codsworth. Hey, hey, buddy. Lilith. Miss Lilith. Buddy, right come there. on. All right. I need to trade with you, bud. All right. Here's what I have. I have a bunch of these fancy Institute pistols. I need you to carry all them for me. Uh, I need you to carry... Yeah, I'm, uh, this thing weighs a good amount, and I'm not going to be using it. So I'm going to have you hold on to the laser musket for now. Give you that. We'll give you the old shock baton. We're going to bust down all this stuff once we get to Diamond City, I think. Regular Institute pistol. Do I have any other like, junk? I mean, I, that doesn't weigh anything, but I'll put that on you just in case. I'm keeping my wedding ring, darn it. Uh, anything else fancy? I got lots of overall junk on me. I guess, yeah, you can have a lot of this junk, huh? I mean, there's no sense in me holding on to it all of it, right? I was basically give him a bunch of stuff until he's, uh, basically over-encumbered. Yeah, there you go. Can't carry anymore. Oh, well. I don't have a gun now, but... No, I do. Paladin. No time for questions now. Oh, yeah, we're going up here. Going down. So how is he po what is the justification for this man be I'm not saying nothing. Not saying never mind. Never mind. Come on, Paladin Dance. Up we go. Up we go. 
I can't press the button, Paladin Dance. Going up. Bye, Codsworth. Hi, Paladin Dance. You're certainly not a synth, are you? Mm-mm. No, sir. Just look at your scar. You can't be a synth. Come on, out of the way. Yeah. I heard Hostile something. Detect Is someone present? Codsworth, I need you. Hey! Get me out of there! You know how to use an elevator, don't you? I think he'll appear behind me eventually. Engaging hostile life form. There we are. Hold on here, I got some grenades on me. I hate when I'm freaking using like these stealth things. I'm gonna complain about it every time I open these things up too. Uh, weapon, and let's go ahead and grab some some of these fancy here frag grenades. And excuse me. So this is a control room. Allow me to throw some of these uh, frag grenades around. Yeah, is that good? This good? All right. Just want to make sure we're all on the same page. Just want to make sure. <laughs> Nobody else thinks it's hilarious that this is like a very sensitive place full of technology. I'm like, frag grenade? Frag out! Frag out! <laughs> I don't know why I'm grabbing these synth components, but I am. Glow sighted 10 millimeter. I'm taking that just so I can learn to put on glow sights on pistols and stuff. Look at this guy! This is the guy that had the deep range uh, transmitter on him, too. This is the thing that... This thing that was already finished being made. This is Oh, this is the thing we actually came here in the first place. So this was already done being made. The jet thingy that we turned on earlier, that was still, Let's like, being worked on, I think. We'll take the service elevator. Institute rifle, huh? That's interesting. I'm going to keep the rifle, too. To the um, I don't know what I might do with the rifle, but it's a rifle. I think the uh, thing that we're going to gain from him is also a rifle. It may actually be considered a pistol. I'm not sure, but it's an energy weapon. Now, I want to upgrade to make it fully automatic because I, I like the idea of a big full auto laser weapon. That sounds fun to me, you know? Cosworth, are you still down there, buddy? I don't know where you're at. I don't know where you're at, buddy, but whatever. All right, uh, grab ourselves some thin packs. Open the old elevator. I think we're heading that, heading down, right? Going up. Oh, we're heading up. See you, Codsworth. <laughs> you know what's cool about this shotgun? It looks just like the uh, model for the uh, Call of Duty World at War double barrel. Love it. You guys know I'm a sucker. I love World at War stuff, and uh, I used a regular old double barrel like this my first ever playthrough. I I built it up to be as best as you can make it. Um, I named it Justice. Bucket I used it in all sorts of uh, really crucial story situations involving a certain Kellogg and uh, other stuff. And uh, don't know what happened to it. Can't find it. No idea where it is on my main character anymore. Whew. Hey. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. We're both alive and the transmitter's been secured. There's no need to scrutinize the details. <laughs> okay. Jeez. I suppose that's it then. Not necessarily. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. It is a rifle. Cool. Righteous authority and 50 uh, fusion cell ammo. So critical shots deal double damage and your meter fills 15% faster. Now, this is a standard capacitor, long barrel, full stock. So it's going to be semi-automatic, I believe. I haven't messed around with it, but this is going to be pretty good for a scientist style playthrough. A rifle, it's best you got. Thank you. You're welcome civilian now as far as the second matter goes i wanted to make you a proposal we had a lot thrown at us back there our op could have ended in disaster but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier there's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes the way i see it you've got a choice you could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place trading an extra hand for a meager reward or you could join the brotherhood of steel and make your mark on the world so what do you say? No, thank you. No, I need to move on. That's a shame. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find us. Good luck to you.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, suddenly here we are back in Sanctuary. I know it's like, what the heck, you were just with Paladin Dance, now suddenly we're back in Sanctuary. And the reason why is I want to save you guys a bunch of time. What I've decided to do is I had to run down to the diner while I fast traveled to the diner, the Drumlin Diner right here, to meet up with the person that's actually a merchant, as well as Trash Can Carla, who is actually right next to there. These are basically the two different uh, merchants I have access to right now. And the reason why I need to hey, talk Carla. to these people hey is I needed to Ready? trade. I need access to some new sure. materials because Let's I did not have a whole lot of Let's stuff on it. me. Mainly, I need crystal as well as fiber optics. And what's actually unfortunate is there's really no more fiber optic stuff around here. So we're not going to have everything I want to have, but we're going to be relatively close. So what we can actually go ahead and do is we did, of course, level up after we did the mission with Paladin Dance. We go down here. We're going to grow and go and grab a science, take full advantage of advanced technology with access to base level and rank one high tech mods. We're going to go ahead and grab that. There we go. We now have science. It's time to start working on our righteous authority what's really bad about this is i can't on? actually give us an automatic barrel i want this to be full auto i guess the ultimate goal would be to get the improved automatic barrel i, I want a full auto laser weapon i think that would be a lot of fun but as you guys can see we don't have enough fiber optics and there's no more fiber optic uh, related things i can actually purchase from these two apparently the best place to get fiber optics would be down at jamaica plains i've been there before i know where to go and what to do but it's a matter of actually getting there that's pretty far south and we don't uh, of course have the hey. levels to go down there right now so what we can do is we're going to change our capacitor here to something interesting. I think the Beta Wave Tuner sounds fun, add, adds burning damage, and improves the range of the rifle as a whole. Now, we could add a bunch of other things. Add better burning damage. Oh, I guess we should go with that. Initially, I'm like, yeah, let's go grab this, but I forgot now that I have Science 1, we can actually get an improved version of that. It's going to add better burning damage, better range, and ammo capacity. That sounds pretty awesome, right? The other ones we can get are Superior Crit, shot damage accuracy and ammo capacity which sounds good on the righteous authority but for me being a scientist style of a character i think it'd be fun to have this laser that sets things on fire that sounds fun now this may actually be better i don't know but uh you know this definitely sounds interesting so we're gonna add the uh, gamma wave emitter which is going to have a bunch of stuff on it there we go get a little bit of xp codsworth now admires me and loves that and something else we can actually do is I would like to go ahead and add a reflex sight. Uh, scopes are fine, but I'm not a big fan of scopes. I've played with a scoped character enough. I want the fancy, you know, right, it's basically like a red dot sight from like Call of Duty, but it's very Fallout-esque. And so we're going to go ahead and add that as well. There we go. And the final improvement, I apologize for the cut there, loud truck decided to drive by. It's the, um, it's snowing out and stuff like that. So we basically have, you know, a bunch of, uh, plows driving by and stuff, but I decided to cut it out. I hate when that stuff happens and annoys me in my videos. Um, the final thing we have here is going to be the muzzle. The three things we can actually have are going to be the gyro compensation lens, which is going to give me superior recoil, but reducing range doesn't sound very good. Beam focuser for better range, accuracy, and recoil. That sounds pretty good. Then of course the beam splitter splits beam into multiple projectiles covering a wider area with poor accuracy seeing range now that's like for big aoe and stuff like that we typically don't run into stuff like that so we're going to take the beam focuser i think for better range accuracy as well as recoil sounds pretty good to me we could change around the stock but by default it has the best stock that i can actually have which is going to be the full stock sounds pretty awesome to me and long barrel i can't actually improve this yet so there we go we have our brand new righteous authority Codsworth is very happy about it. I'm very happy about it. Look at this new baby here. Now, of course, we did take Commando. We did take Commando before, so I'm a bit upset we can't make this full, fully automatic yet. But hopefully, uh, once we get to Diamond City, we can buy some fiber optics, work on it down there, make this thing full auto. Just look at this amazing weapon right here. I'm a big fan. We also have a pretty good, good amount of ammo as well. I mean, that's going to be fun. That is going to be a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all enjoyed this little mini uh, two-part series here involving the Arc Jack, uh, Arc Jet, I keep calling it Arc Jack, uh, systems as well as getting the Righteous Authority here. Now I'm not entirely sure what to do. I guess we continue uh, heading south here. Where were we at previously? There's Lexington, so we keep going down. There's the Cambridge Police Station. The Cambridge Polymer Labs are right there. Then we can cross the old big bridge, which is going to take us pretty much into the heart 
of Boston itself. Diamond City is not too far away from where we were already previously. So we're going to head south. We're going to see what it's like down here. If everything is too strong for us, we're going to find some side objectives and stuff like that to do. But maybe with some luck, we can sneak our way into Diamond City in the next episode. Can't guarantee it. Don't take my word for it. I have no idea. We're going to have to see. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all enjoyed these videos. Drop me a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. But the crowd